This video is how to use Renzo protocol. Renzo is a restaking protocol. So we can put our ETH on here and they're gonna restake it for us through Eigenlayer and pass all of the yields and rewards back to us. Uh, Renzo is the 12th largest app in the Ethereum ecosystem right now. You can see that here. It's also the second largest restaking protocol by assets held just behind Ether.Fi. I have a video on Ether.Fi. I'll link it down in the description. We'll go through Renzo in this video though, including how to actually stake on here and then some of the other things we need to know about the protocol. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description. Like other restaking protocols, Renzo is an easy front end for us to use to go ahead and restake our tokens and they take care of everything in the background. So for us, all we do is stake out ETH. They give us a token back called Easy ETH which is a receipt of what we've given them. And that goes into the restaking protocols with Eigenlayer and earns any rewards. So this is a agent protocol for Eigenlayer. So we give them our ETH, they actually stake it within Eigenlayer or they run validators as well, stake it in Eigenlayer, and then it gets uh, restaked from there. So Eigenlayer, if you wanna use it yourself, you can do, but you have to lock up your tokens and they're in Eigenlayer and that's it. So with Renzo, what we can do with Easy ETH is actually have that token in our wallet and we can use that across DeFi. So we can provide liquidity to earn even more yield. We can just keep it in our wallet and sell out as and when we want. And so it's way more liquid than using Eigenlayer directly. Now also Renzo at the moment, you accumulate Eigenlayer points because it's still points season and Renzo doesn't have a token. So you might actually um, you know, accumulate some Renzo protocol tokens if there's an airdrop there. Uh, so using it right now, obviously you get those points. In the future, there may be a token already and some other incentives. You have to obviously watch for that when you're watching this video and staking. So Easy ETH is the liquid restaking token, otherwise known as LRT. You can unstake from Eigenlayer, it takes about seven days. As of making this video, you cannot withdraw um, so you're in. Now, if you want to get out, you can just trade the token on a DEX as of right now. In the future, there will, of course, be withdrawals and you can just simply withdraw from the protocol. The official website is renzoprotocol.com. I will link it down in the description as well. There may be fakes out there, so don't go to the wrong place. Press restake in the top right. We come through to the very simple interface. We need to stake ETH with them. They give us easy ETH back into our wallet. That's a receipt token of how much we're staking. And we get two different rewards here. We get the Ethereum staking rewards on the Ethereum mainnet. We also get the extras that AVSs are paying us. So we stake. We go through to Eigenlayer. Eigenlayer helps restake over all of these different layer twos who are paying us extra. And so we're getting staking rewards plus the AVS rewards. And that is the total rewards that we're getting. What are the risks here? Yes, there are increased risks. For example, these AVSs may have increased risk of slashing. So that will reduce rewards, of course. Some just may be bad networks or something may go wrong. So there is an increased risk here. It's not leveraging your ETH or anything like that. You're just staking it with more networks on top. And so you're kind of increasing that risk of slashing and th those networks doing something wrong that's gonna reduce your stake. So there is increased risk here. And of course you have increased risk of using different protocols. You're using Renzo, which is using Eigenlayer, which is staking with other networks. So please be aware of the risks, but there are extra rewards, of course, um, with restaking rather than just normal staking. Now, also something to be aware of is that you can actually stake a couple of different tokens with Renzo. If you click this, you'll see that uh, you can actually use layer two networks, which is great. So you can reduce the fees a lot by not using the ETH mainnet. So if you want to use one of these staking or the, the layer two networks, right, like Arbitrum, Base, BNB chain, you know, kind of main chains, right? So you can use these if you want to get that into your wallet. The other thing is you can see the three different supported coins. So that may be different depending on which network that you're using, right? So you can see the different coins that are supported. Now, these two are liquid staking tokens, right? This is Binance's and this is Lido's. So if you have those, you can stake with Renzo, that's fine, but they're not gonna be able to put that token into Eigenlayer until Eigenlayer takes away the caps. As of right now, because Eigenlayer is new, um, it has caps on the amount of LSTs that you can put in the protocol. It sometimes opens the window, it sometimes, clo it sometimes closes it. So if you're in a closed period, 
You'll be staking those with Renzo, but they won't be able to put it in Eigenlayer. Ethereum, it will always be able to stake because Eigenlayer has no caps for uh, real ETH because Renzo will be running the validators themselves and there's no caps on that. So if you want to make sure that you're just getting points for Eigenlayer or any restaking rewards, you can go ahead and deposit ETH into the protocol and not these two, but it depends what you have. Now for Arbitrum as well, I'm just going to use Arbitrum with uh, the Ethereum token. So I'm going to click that on and I should have some balance here to actually go ahead and stake. I'll show you an example of depositing some ETH onto the platform. So for right here, I've connected my wallet. If you don't know how to use wallets, I'll leave that for videos down in the description. You need to get some ETH into your wallet and then obviously connect it to Renzo. And then from here, I'm going to be using ETH on the Arbitrum network. Arbitrum is just a lot cheaper. And so, you know, for this example, it works. Now you can see here, we're getting easy ETH back. Now easy ETH accrues value over time because we're getting this APR, right? This is just the Ethereum staking APR right now. And then of course, Eigenlayer restaking should boost that. But for right now, Eigenlayer isn't restaking because it's so new. So you're just getting points. And then you're getting easy points as well for using the protocol based on how much you stake. But Easy ETH is an accumulating token. So the yield that it gets from staking and restaking is gonna go into the token and make it more expensive in relation to the ETH that you staked. So over time, it should get more expensive in relation to the ETH. You can actually see that down here as well. Uh, one ETH right now actually is worth 0.99 Easy ETH, but over time, Easy ETH should accrue more and so um, be you know, actually higher in value and so one ETH buys less ED, Easy ETH over time. Um, so we're going to use the Arbitrum network. So I'll just confirm this. You can see we're staking here, confirm transaction. Uh, so we can just go through this on your wallet. If you're using Rabi or uh, Metamask or anything else, looks fine. So sign and create, confirm that, and then you'll stake within uh, Renzo protocol. So pretty quick and easy. Um, and yeah, that's done. Once you've got some stake on the protocol, you can go down to the portfolio tab on the left hand side, and it's just going to show you all of your wallet balances. So yes, I do have some restaked ETH right here, easy ETH on the Arbitrum network, and you can see the total yield that I'm getting right now, just Ethereum staking rewards. But once they do start restaking that, that should be higher than what you're getting with plain staked ETH. And these are assets right here that I'm not restaking that could be restaked across these different networks based on Arbitrum. Eigenlayer points start accruing one day after you start staking, I think. Uh, so they will be racking up unless the Eigenlayer token already exists and then there won't be any points. And then Renzo easy points as well for potentially a token in the future. Liquid restaking tokens can also be used in other DeFi protocols, for example, Pendle. Pendle is an interest rate derivatives protocol. Sounds really complex, but essentially what you can do is sell forward the expected yield of the token that you're investing in. We've got easy ETH, we know it pays a yield, but that yield is variable. And what we can do on Pendle, once we have easy ETH, is fix our yield over a certain time frame. So we're actually selling our yield forward to someone else, and they're paying us a fixed rate for that yield. Why would they do that? Well, they're taking a risk, hoping that the actual yield is higher than what they pay us. So if we think Easy ETH is going to yield 10% over a year, we may actually fix our yield at 9%. So we know that we're getting something fixed and we're putting value in and we're getting the value back plus 9%. The buyer of our yield is going to pay us a fixed yield, but they're hoping to take risk and get a higher yield on top. So they may pay us 9, but they may get 11. Now, conversely, the real yield might be 8% and so they lose out. That doesn't matter to us because we're getting a fixed yield. So you can do that with many of the restaking tokens. You can see EETH, RSETH, and Easy ETH here, all available to use uh, and restake, um, and obviously put it in Pendle Earn. So we're going to go to Easy ETH here. What we can see is the fixed APY is annualized at 68%. That's if we held it for 12 months. But the expiry date for this contract is the 27th of June, 2024, as of making this video. This may change. In the future, the yields aren't going to be as high. Right now, LRTs are getting many different points. They're getting protocol points. They're getting eigenlayer points, which may turn out for airdrops. And of course, you forfeit all of the points over this time to the person that's paying you a fixed yield. So it's a 68% annualized yield, but it's only a couple of months as of making this video that you're getting it. So you're probably getting... Uh, like five, five and a half percent a month um, over you know a couple of months as of making this video. And then after that, what happens is you get ETH and your yield back. 
So if you have some easy ETH, I've connected my wallet here. I've got some easy ETH in my uh, wallet, you can see. And we can just deposit the max amount on the protocol. And it tells me what's going to happen is that at the end of the contract, we will be getting uh, our ETH back plus the yield that we're fixing from the person that's paying. So you can see my position at maturity, which is on this expiry date, we are getting this much ETH back. So we're putting our easy ETH in and we're getting ETH plus the rewards that they're giving us, right? Because they're paying us and we're getting that fixed yield. So if you want to do that, you can actually fix the yield that you're getting for easy ETH. Right now, a high yield in the future, the yield will obviously come down as, as points and token airdrops will kind of finish. And that will just be fixing your yield uh, versus letting the variable rate, you know, pay you over time. If you want to withdraw from Renzo protocol, so switch your easy ETH back into normal ETH, in the future, just go to the protocol and press withdraw. That may take a couple of days, but it'll just be back into your account. As of right now, that's actually not available. So what we have to do is actually trade out of the token. Easy ETH is a liquid token, so there's no problem doing that. This is the token on CoinGecko. The ticker is Easy ETH. And what we can do is see where it's traded. So it's traded on Uniswap, so no problem. We'll click Uniswap and you can just go ahead and trade Easy ETH out for ETH. So if you have some Easy ETH in your wallet, you know, the amount right here, you will switch it into any other token on Uniswap. So you can switch it back into ETH and then from there you can switch that back into your exchange. Restaking is not without its own set of risks, so please be aware of that before doing anything. Also, I'll leave the other helpful videos that I mentioned down in the description. I'm James, this is my ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.